Hello and welcome to Be a Tier, the German Engineer. Today we are back with episode 21 of our newest Let's Play series and this is of course Oxygen Not Included. Last time around all the way up here on the top we built our wonderful gateway to space which works just fine but of course there are a couple things missing and there are a few other things that I want to get into as well. So let's just jump right into it and see how that works out for us. And here we are. So let's pause the game, let's turn the overlay back on and let's take a look here. We have this saltwater geyser. We unearthed that a long, a long time ago, probably in episode three or something, I can't remember, but it has been sitting here ever since and we haven't touched it at all. But it is currently dormant and I just noticed that. So we might as well take the time to get into there. And I have no idea how long it is dormant. So we should probably get going right away. First of all, we need to get rid of these two right here and then we need to analyze it. Just like this here, it was already set to analyze, so I was already ready for it apparently. But then, how do we actually conquer this thing here? And the smartest way to do it is with an Escher waterfall. It's not only the smartest, but also the easiest way. So we're gonna come up here all around to right here. There we go. And then all the way here, we need three tiles just like this here. And then on the outside, we can come down probably, let me check here, we need two, three, four, all the way to right there. Then with airflow tiles, we are going to line the inside just like this here. There, that is what that should look like. We need a manual airlock right in this position. And then in plumbing, we need, where is our liquid pump? Right here. And we're gonna make it out of steel. The reason for it is that the water coming out of here is extremely hot. We can see it, it is at 95 degrees Celsius. Of course, we cannot build it like this here. That is not going to work. So we need to cancel a couple things. First of all, right here, these two tiles so the dupes can come into here. And then on this side right here, these two here also need to be canceled for right now. But we can definitely get rid of this ladder right here. That is definitely going to happen. Then another ladder. And I forgot to set it to priority nine. So that is also important right here, a ladder. Right there, a ladder. So we can build all of this here. All of this here can be built. And then these here will probably be unreachable. So we're going to plop three ladders right here as well. Then next on the list in plumbing, we need to grab us insulated pipes and come out to the left and to the right. Just something like this here. I don't know yet what we're going to do with this water. But for right now, we're just going to put it in there and leave it there. That is the general idea. And then in power, we also need to power those two pumps right here. So we're just going to come out to the left for right now. Doesn't really matter too much. We will find a power source eventually. Other things that we need are in ventilation. So let's take a look at this here. Let's just take a gas pipe because we need to have two different gases right in this location right here. One of them is going to be oxygen and the other one hydrogen. Yeah, that's probably the easiest thing to do just because, well, we have it right here. So it should be no problem. Let's see what is the easiest way to do this here with a gas bridge. We could just bridge this stuff here, right? Yeah, right there. We're just gonna put in a bridge here and there. And then we're gonna come right here. Down we're gonna come then through here and then all the way to there into there there we go with a gas bridge right here another gas bridge right there don't forget the gas pipe on the left side that is important we need a gas pipe on each side or nothing will happen and then right here we can just go into there it's this simple okay anything else that i am missing right now yes we also need to cool it and we could just use this system over here to cool it because i do have 1920 kilograms here in the reservoir that should be enough to get this done so let's see if we can build this here um how are we gonna do this let's see we're gonna come up here over to there through there all the way through here we will bridge this right here then we're gonna come through there yeah, that one, that one here we can also bridge without any issues. So this one here goes this way upwards and the other one also goes upwards. There we go. It's going to be this simple. You just have to tear it out. Then again, with our insulated pipe, going to come all the way through there. As soon as we are here, we're going to come down to here just like this all the way through there. And then we're going to switch over to Radiant. And Radiant goes all the way through here, all the way through there. Here we're gonna bridge it down, gonna come down here and then back out on this side. So yes, I believe this here should work. It's a little bit confusing, don't you worry. As soon as it's built, it's going to look a hell of a lot easier. But I'm just going to put it in all at once, 
just so the dupes know exactly what to do. There is no delay and this one here should get built in absolutely no time. That is the general idea. But now let's keep going with our pipe right here with the pipe. Where are we going to go? We could just use this pipe right here. Yeah, I don't think this has any function whatsoever. So let's come down here, come over to there and right here. How are we going to do this here with another bridge, uh, not a gas bridge. We can put in a liquid bridge like this here and then another one like this here. There we go. I should get the job done. And then this pipe here comes all the way along. And as soon as it reaches over here, we can just come in here and up to there. Yeah, that is what needs to be built. Let's put in the rest of our liquid bridges. We need one right here and we need one. No, we don't. Everything's good. OK, so let's get this here built. That is going to be a little bit of an act for the dupes, but it should be perfectly fine. They should get it all done and Chimster will come by any second to actually research or better to say analyze our saltwater geyser. While we are building all this stuff on the bottom, up here on the top, yes, everything is a little bit edgy, everything is a little bit rocky, so we need to do something about that as well. And there is something else I want to do. No, let's keep it paused right here. I want to extend this here and then also the ladder all the way to the top, because right here we are not going to come with all these power wires and stuff all the way through here. We're going to do it right there. This here is going to be basically a little bit of a hole, a little bit of a shaft, if you want, where we can come through with our power and what not so we're gonna keep on building right here exactly as nothing has happened obviously the dupes cannot come through here the dupes have to go through to the right but the power the air the water whatever else we need everything can come through here straight that is the general idea so let's make sure we dig all this stuff here out and then right here we can come all the way down as well there we go that should be a good start and while i'm at it right down here where are we there we are okay chemster is almost done as soon as chemster is done i want to go into research and i want to research the small petroleum engine right here that is the plan that is what we're going to research next and that is exactly what we are going to do and now everything is built everything's ready to roll and let's see how long we have for our saltwater geyser and we have oh my goodness only 1.4 cycles we are very lucky that this saltwater geyser is on this planetoid and not the other one because in abundino there is no way in hell that we would have built this stuff here in the time frame that we have that is sometimes the game you play if you play with fire that is the problem with dormancy you never know when it ends but let's keep on going right here there are only a couple things that we are missing this gas bridge and this gas bridge both of them can be torn out only the gas bridges as soon as those two here are torn out we will see that on this side over here yes we will have only one single piece of gas pipe left but let's give it a number nine priority so a dupe actually comes by and gets it done so we can actually observe that and other than that this here is done because the next thing that needs to happen is that this saltwater guys here needs to erupt and needs to fill these bottom cavities so that we have water in here or better to say salt water all around that is highly highly important as soon as we have that then we can send a dupe into here and actually deconstruct those two things and we will see them here in a second as soon as satsai here is done there we go and we can see we have one gas pipe on the top with hydrogen and one on the bottom with oxygen and that is exactly what we need so now we play the waiting game but there is one thing that we need because dupes will get hurt whoever is going to come in here it's going to be bloody hot so he will get hurt it is time to build us a little bit of a hospital i think this here is a wonderful position for a hospital so let's plop it in real quick we will just copy the top right here i don't know why i just did that that would have been just fine there we go and the sink then we're gonna go into medicine and grab us uh, where we are two triage cots one here and one there then we're gonna go into furniture where we at furniture am i blind no there it is and we're gonna grab us two mess tables that fit in here perfectly here and here and just in case we ever need it which we definitely don't right now and a party carry right there we have two cards that should be enough for right now definitely not going to cause any issues we're going to put it back into furniture grab us two canvases maybe one here one there and we can plop in a smaller one right here as well no problem whatsoever the only thing that's missing of course is a little bit of piping we're going to come with our water supply down to the bottom these two here we're going to bring up over and down all the way through and then back up right here and into there there we go that should most definitely get the job done and this is how easy we build a hospital isn't that something 
And while the hospital here is taking shape, we can turn around the sink already. So that is done. And then we hop into research. And now I can start the hydrocarbon propulsion research for our small petroleum engine. As I mentioned earlier, we are going to go straight for petroleum because we have it. I like to take my time with going to space and have my bases ready to roll the two that I have available at the beginning. That is my play style. That is usually what I would recommend in the first place, because if you go too early to space, you are diverting your attention to so many things that maybe your main base may be in trouble. And that is something that I will try to avoid at all costs. So we are going to do exactly that. And of course, I've got to hook up the apothecary to a little bit of power. So that is the last thing we need. And then this here is ready to roll. We're going to set this here to 90%. Yes, if somebody is below 90%, then you can come in here and grab the triage cot. There we go. That should get it done. And down here, yes, 0.8 cycles are left until we are ready to go here. One thing that I can't forget is the manual airlock. I need to lock this here or a dupe will come in from the right side, which is something we definitely do not want at all. Meanwhile, over here on Abundino, our Cobalt Volcano still has 10 cycles to go until eruption. But we have 71% stress on Random Dude. And the reason for it is that he has a food poisoning, I guess, and B, we gave him so many skills that he is a little bit unhappy. Where you had a random dude, there you are. Actually, you have currently more morale than you need, but it is definitely a good idea to help out with that a tiny little bit. And that is what we are going to do next, because right here, we are going to build a little bit of an area where our dukes can relax. So let's do that. All this debris that we have here, of course, needs to be picked up. This time with a number nine priority, so it gets gone really quickly. And then we are actually going to put in a real floor as well. Actually, do we have to do that? No, I don't think so. What we are going to do is for sure, though, we're going to build a door here, a door there, and one on each side. Of course, I better to say two on each side. And then what are we going to put in here? Let's take a look in furniture. There we are. We are going to grab us our trusty old party line phones. I really like those things. They barely cost anything and they are really helpful, especially when they're built. We can take a look into here. They provide plus four, at least one duplicate across space, which means if somebody on Abundino is on the phone and somebody on Ingenium is on the phone, that gives us four morale at the same time. That is so wonderful for only 120 watts of power. That is certainly something that we will go into. Then next on the list in furniture, let's grab us some maybe a metal block do we have gold yeah we have gold so we can plop one right here and one right there this simple then back in furniture what else do we have here should we plop in some soda fountains yes we can plop one here one there let's make it also four of them definitely more than enough for our dupes and then in the middle uh, we don't have enough space for a jukebox anymore do we no we don't but what else can we do here what is a good size i'm honestly not too sure is there anything else in a espresso machine? Yeah, we don't have the ingredients for that. Uh, let's take a look into research. What else can we do here? All the way down, all the way down. Right here. We could research this sun lamp right here. That's probably a good idea. And then we could keep on going into the beach chair. So far right now, we're going to leave it as it is. That is enough for the dupes to be happy right now. But of course, there's one more thing that we need. And that is for the soda fountain. We need some carbon dioxide. And we have a carbon dioxide vent here in the bottom somewhere. There it is. It's a geyser. Okay. And it is currently dormant. The only problem is getting there. How do we get there? I'm not entirely sure. What do we have here? We have another carbon dioxide geyser right here. That would be a hell of a lot easier to get to, wouldn't it be? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay. So we're going to grab us this ladder here. And we're going to extend this ladder all the way down. All the way through here. We do not care at all. And we're going to come all the way through. There we go. Of course, this time around, we're also going to plop in a fire pole and I'm probably going to shift all this water here over one more tile to actually be able to plop a fire pole all the way through here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just build a wall all the way through here and probably also this heavy watt wire. Let's rebuild this area here just a tiny, tiny little bit. Deconstruct those two. Let's build this here and then I will come with a fire pole all the way through. Tear out all the stuff here that is in our way and do not care about it at all. And we're going to grab us a little bit of carbon dioxide from this geyser right here. That should be extremely simple. No problem whatsoever. That is what we're going to use to feed our soda fountains. Right here, our salt water geyser is now active. And this here is the first eruption cycle. And we're getting salt water in. We just need to fill this here up. And that should be perfectly fine as is. No problems whatsoever. 
we will see what this year looks like. I just cannot miss it. But let's pause it because I found something else. Up here on the top a moment ago, we had some shuffle eggs and I believe the dupes have already taken them away, which is OK. Uh, let's see here. Yes, so we have two shuffle eggs. So we must have ducked them out because I have not seen any shovels around here, but it was probably hidden behind one of these regular pieces right here. So what are we going to do with that knowledge? We are going to build us a starting range for our shovels, because why wouldn't we? If we have them available, might as well go for it. You know, we're just going to go for iron. That is perfectly fine. And why don't we build it right here in this area? So let's get going. We're going to build us a little bit of an area right here and a little bit of an area right there with a nomadic door right here. That simple. Then we need a few things in food. We need incubators. Let's give it a little bit of space here and there. Uh, build out of copper. It doesn't matter. It does really not matter what the stuff here is built out of. As long as we have the metal tiles around, nothing will ever go wrong. What else do we have here? We need a critter drop off and the critter drop off is going to go right there. Then in utilities, now in automation, we're going to grab us two Atmo sensors, one here and one there. And of course, automation wires coming all the way through here. Then in stations, we need a where we add a grooming station right there. And that should be basically everything. Nope. In shipping, we need a conveyor loader, which is going to live right there and an auto sweeper right beside it. And now we just need to fill in the blanks, of course, all the way around with some wonderful, wonderful metal tiles. There we go. All the way around. This is what this thing here is going to look like. Literally this simple. That is exactly what we want. So dupes, let's get building. And then as soon as this is built, we will go from there. While we are waiting on our geyser to fill up and of course also our shovel farm to actually be completed, let's finish this on this side right here. We lock the top, we open the bottom just like this here. But of course, there are a few things we need. We have the party line phones and the soda fountains and they all need power and quite a lot of power. So what we're going to do is pretty simple. We're going to close this here off just like this here. We're going to make this here all uniform and then we're going to leave a space of four and plop in another floor. Then a large power transformer here and there. And then, of course, the heavy wood wire keeps on going all the way up just like this here. And then, just for completeness sake, we can tear this wall here down. How are we going to do this? Probably something like this here and something like this here. Let's make sure that all this here gets dug up first. And then we will go ahead and dig up the rest of the tiles here. Our farm is big enough, so we don't have to do anything with that. That is perfectly fine. And then in power, let's take a look here. With a conductive wire made out of iron. Yes, we have plenty of iron. We can come all the way through here, all the way through there. We're going to build a bridge and then right here. We have 480 and 480 and 480 and 480. That is a lot of power. So we're going to come all the way through here and all the way through there. Of course, that is not going to work because we need to put in a floor. Yeah, I didn't know we had to put in a floor. I just didn't remember why. And now I remember it. That is the reason. No big problem. We can get this here fixed in a heartbeat. So in power, we of course need a conductive wire bridge where you at. There you are. Let's go in there and then another conductive wire because right here we're actually going to put in a floor. There we go. Let's grab us the conductive wire again and let's come along here one more time. And we're going to go into the top right here because we need our party line phones right here wired up and then on the other side as well. So we also need a floor on the top, which kind of sucks a little bit because I definitely don't want to tear out the tree. Everything else I really don't care about, but the tree should live. So how are we going to do this? We could do it differently, actually. Let's make sure we start over right here. Only electric wires we want to cancel in F2 power wires. There we go. So we cancel only the power wires. Let's see if I can put this one here, do something like this here, maybe come into here and into there because right here later on I want to build a beach chair it will fit here perfectly we have four tiles so we need power for that as well might as well do it like this here and then with the bottom power wire we can come through and hook up literally everything else that doesn't have power yet there we go that makes it a little bit nicer a little bit better that is definitely a better solution and that is what we are going to go with let's go dupes let's get all this here done you have once again more than enough to do 
down here on the bottom our saltwater geyser is erupting and it has filled the bottom tiles and when we take a look here we have air all around we have one tile of uh, carbon dioxide here apparently which is perfectly fine we just need to wait until this thing here actually stops erupting and then we can send our dupes in there that is the smartest way to go about it and that's how we're gonna do it right here we can put in two more tiles because we don't need access here anymore either so let's make sure that this so let's make sure that this here is actually finished and now we have it the saltwater geyser has stopped erupting and we have 0.4 cycles to get this here done so let's do it right now first of all we are going to get rid of this one right here the top one because the top one is our hydrogen and we can deconstruct it with a number nine priority so let's get that done right away dupes please hop in here and deconstruct it as fast as you possibly can and here comes Krivak. Krivak is coming in, deconstructing it. And then we take a look in our F4 overlay. That is what that should look like. Down here on the bottom, we actually already have oxygen, 7.1 kilograms. So I'm probably just going to leave that piece of gas pipe right there because it is perfectly fine. So we can close it up. We already have that. And that is good. From now on, we should never have problems with the system here again. And now it is closed up and even that one tile of carbon dioxide has gone out. Very, very good. One thing is left to do in our F7 overlay. We can get rid of all this nonsense right here. Yes, we have this thing here still here, but it's not going to kill us. I just left it there because it literally doesn't matter. So let's tear out all this stuff right here. And let's make sure this one here comes becomes once again an insulated pipe. And then also all the other stuff. We don't need this pipe anymore. So let's get rid of it in its entirety and that should clean up the system and our water in here is at 49.9 degrees and this thing here goes dormant again in 16.2 cycles so yeah let's wait until it erupts and then we will watch it and see what this here looks like and right now our saltwater geyser right here is erupting and you can see it's working perfectly fine we have our hydrogen on the top and our oxygen on the bottom and the reason why we really built this here is because a lot of people have asked me and keep asking me if we can build one of these things here if we don't have a natural tile left right there and the answer is obviously yes yes we can i have done it in my last let's play and i did it once again right here i don't really have any use for this salt water here at least not anytime soon but this year is just to show off how you can do it and it's literally this simple you just have to come one tile further over put it right there with a manual airlock right here and there you have it it is working like a charm meanwhile up here on the top our shovel farm is done and it has probably been done for a good while probably yeah our dupes are extremely fast so let's hook all the stuff here up to power what is this power right here okay so this is the one that goes up here these will never be all at the same time in action so we can just use it and plop it into all of this stuff right here just as simple as that and then we can just come down here and grab this one here and copy the settings to the bottom one and take this one here and copy the settings to the top one actually these are cycle sensors did i build atmo sensors my god of course we do not need atmo sensors in here but cycle sensors <laughs> oh my goodness but we can also come down here and grab our critters where we are we have a low pop right here and on top of that we need a shove ball maximum 20 as always and we do not turn on auto wrangle surplus definitely don't want to do that then our incubators right here let's make sure that i also get their eggs in we want a shove ball egg right here with a number nine priority and of course, we're going to copy those settings over to the other one as well. And these two here are getting now torn out. And we can replace it with the true sensors, which are cycle sensors. My goodness, how did I miss that? But last but not least, we also need a conveyor rail. And the conveyor rail, how are we going to do this here? We're going to come out of there. And we're just going to follow along all the way down here to the bottom. We're just going to cross through here. Yeah, something like this here. And then we're going to bring it into here and then down here there we go that is going to be meat and we're just going to drop the meat literally right there also dupes how about you clean up a little bit after yourselves there we go and then we still need a bridge that we have not built yet right here there we go and that should get this job here done as well wonderful dupes get it done then we can copy over our settings from the cycle sensors and as soon as that is done this one here will work just like a charm and there it is our eggs are already here it is set to a number nine priority so somebody should come by and hug them anytime now currently they're not hugged but that is okay so let's make sure they're getting hugged once and as soon as that is done i'm just going to copy over the settings here's digi d 
hugging the first one. Let's turn up the speed a little bit so he hugs a little bit faster. And he's not hugging the second one, really? Okay, the ace is getting the job done. Wonderful. And now we can come down here, grab us just the first cycle sensor, copy the settings to the bottom one, and then grab the second one and copy the settings to the top one. We have already done this. Activation time zero and an active duration of 10%. And the top one has an activation time of 11% and an active duration of 10%. Once again, just as simple, saving us a little bit of power. And we're just going to fill this thing here to the brim with shuffles. It will take a little while, but that is absolutely no problem. Now all of this here is built. We have our party line phones, our soda fountains. Everything is done, except of course we are lacking the carbon dioxide. So we need to find at least a temporary solution for that as well until we actually get down here. That'll take a while. It's not that big of a deal though. So what we are going to do is first of all, let's make sure that this here gets completed. And the bottom one we're going to do with a number seven priority. We're going to build the top one first. Where do we have a bunch of carbon dioxide? Let's see down here. Yeah, that is a hell of a lot of carbon dioxide. So that is probably what we're going to use. And the power wire that is in here can also use a little bit more. So what we are going to do is we're going to go into ventilation. We're going to grab us a filtered gas pump made out of aluminum. That is fine. And we're going to just plop it right. Or we're going to plop it right here. That is fine. Then we need a canister filler and the canister filler can live right there. Perfectly fine. Once again. Then right here, just a constant flow whenever this thing here is empty. We're just going to fill it back up with carbon dioxide right away. And then of course in F2, we need to grab us this conductive wire right here and extend it down to the bottom all the way over to here. That will get the job done. And as soon as this is done, we're going to send the filter gas pump to carbon dioxide and make sure that nothing else gets into our canister filler. Even if we should empty this here out and our chlorine comes down here, that should not be a problem because we have to fill the filter gas pump and that is what that should look like. The last few pieces for our filter gas pump setup here are still missing, but there's one more thing I want to do. We have this neurovaxillator right here and we haven't used it yet. How about we give random dude another little break and we're going to send him into here and see what happens. So let's do precisely that. Random dude, come by. We want to see what happens to you. And random dude is hooked up to the neural vaccinator and what is happening to him? Let's see. Okay. He's coming out and stress negative 20% per cycle. <laughs> that is a lucky break because he is the dude with the highest stress by far. So that is very, very good. Definitely exactly what we needed. That is why we built this entire system right here, mainly for random dude, because everybody else is really happy. So that works literally in our favor. And then here we have Amir and Amir is building our filtered gas pump. And as soon as that one is done, my God, Amir needs air. Get out of there, Amir. Dark Fry is finishing it up. That is OK. We set the filter gas pump to unbreathable gas, carbon dioxide, and it should start pumping immediately and putting wonderful carbon dioxide into this little piece right here. Wonderful. Now we can actually grab those canisters and bring them over to our soda fountains. Perfect. That is what we need. That is what we want. And that is what that should look like. And here comes Dark Fry. He filled the first two up. So the first two are already working and the second two are now working as well. That is exactly what that should look like. That is great. Our dupes are now ready to roll in here and they can relax whenever they feel like. That is great. And that is what we want. Our shove bowl farm up here is working as expected once again. That is very, very good, of course. And soon we will have the first shove bowls right here. That is also great. But there are a couple more things that we need up here. Last but not least for today, I want to make sure that we get the basic infrastructure in here for our rocket program. So four tiles above this ladder right here. One, two, three, four right here. I'm going to plop in right here a floor that goes all the way over here. And on the other side, we are going to do the exact same thing just like this here. How much we need, I'm not entirely sure yet, but I only know that we will need this here. Not like this here. There we go. That is what I want. And then we're going to go into rocketry and we grab as a rocket platform. And the first ro rocket platform is going to be right there. Then we need to go into plumbing and in plumbing, we're going to grab us a liquid rocket port loader and plop it right there. And then in ventilation, we're going to grab us a gas rocket port loader and plop it right there. There we go. And then on this side here, another one of those, just like that. Actually, we should probably go a little bit higher with it, shouldn't we? Yeah, 
that is probably smarter to do. Let me let me do it differently. I'm just going to come up here above. Yes, above space. There we go. We want to be outside of this vacuum area right here that has this background. So our carbon dioxide or whatever else we have, all the gases that are coming out from from our rockets are going to be dissipated. That is what we want. So we're just going to copy everything straight a little bit further up and we're going to cancel all this stuff right here. Also this here, we're going to come up and bring it into the same height. There we go. Just like that. Let's get rid of everything else. And then the ladder, of course, needs to be extended as well on both sides, preferably. That should give us more than enough space up here to actually get our rocket program up and started. One of the things that our rockets will definitely need is petroleum, because that is the first thing that we are going to use to go to space with. So we will need to build how are we going to do this? We could do it very simple. As a matter of fact, we could do the exact same thing we did right here and just do it right there. So why don't we do that? We could theoretically just come same height. Yeah, why not? Why don't we just use the exact same height right here? We're going to put in a floor. That is probably the best plan to go about this here. Yeah. And then we're going to come up here with our ladder all the way to the top and with this one here all the way to the top. Same with this. And same with that. There we go. Then we're going to dig all of this stuff here out because we won't need it. And let's make sure we actually have this side here covered as well completely. That should give us a little bit of an easier access to this area right here. And then right above here. Are you just going to swap over to the middle? Right here and right there. You know what? Let's build it. Yeah, let's keep on building it the way that we built it. There we go. And we're going to come all the way up into space. Of course, we need to come a little bit further over all the way to right there. There we go. So let's get all this here built as well. We're going to tear all of this here out. Yeah, that should now be once again more than enough to do for our dupes to actually get our space program up and running. And up here in the top, everything is now built that should be built. So let's take a quick look at it. In F6, we can see we have the insulated pipe coming through. I just routed it all the way through the base and I have apparently forgot to put in our where we at liquid bridges, one right here and of course one right there. So we can actually get the petroleum up to the top. In F7, we can see that I also put an insulated gas pipes for our oxygen that is currently just going to this gas rocket fourth loader right here. In F2 though, we can see we have nothing. And that is certainly something that we need because I want to go into rocketry, grab an enclosed telescope and plop it over here somewhere. For example, right there, which also needs in F7 an input and the input is for oxygen. So we're going to plop oxygen in there. That is, of course, going to be great. And then we need power next. For the power, I'm just going to come over here and we have here our heavy watt wire. And I think I'm just going to put a heavy watt wire up here and just connect everything straight to the heavy watt wire because we will need a heavy watt wire anyway since we are going to put probably some solar panels into space as well. So let's see how we can do this. We're going to come all the way through here, follow along this ladder, then we're going to come up to right there, something more like this here. There we go. One more piece right there. Right here, I'm going to replace this here with a heavy watt joint plate, of course, just like this here. And then heavy watt wire. We're going to come all the way over to the right and just route it all the way straight through here. Something just like that. And yeah, that should get the job done. That should power up everything. And we can use then the same wire, as I said before, for our wonderful solar panels whenever we build those. Speaking of those, though, what we will also need later is glass and we haven't produced any. So let's make us some glass here. Let's say we get 25 kilograms out. So 10 of them would be 250 kilograms. You know what? Let's make 50 of them for right now. That should do it. And then we can also see if this here actually works because we haven't even tested it as a matter of fact. And now all of this here is completed. And here actually comes Chemster right at this moment. And he's hopping in there and he's starting with our telescope. So let's take a look at our star map. Oh, actually, let's watch him first. What is he doing? He's extending the telescope and he is taking a peek on what's going on out there. So now let's take a look at our star map. And he is currently taking a look at this little plot right here. And he should be able to see quite a lot around here, which is going to be very good. So now Chemster has more than enough to do as well. And I'm sure he is going to do a great job as usual.
Next time around, we are going to build our two rockets and you're probably wondering why do we have two rocket platforms at once? Yes, well, one of them is for research and the other one is going to go to other planetoids once we find them. That is at least the general idea. And that is what we are going to do next. So let's take a look at that when we get to it. But first of all, while you're at it, maybe if you can already come up with an idea for our two rockets right here, let me know, of course, in the comments down below. But that is all I have for you today, so if you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and of course, comment down below. You know it, I'm always happy to hear from you, and it would help me out greatly. And with that, I say thank you, and peace.